What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055The King. Get the King out at 105TheKing.com and the Boss Man Show at BossManshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, The Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to The Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BELIEVE. B-L-E-A-V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. Boss Man Show, friend of the show, my guy Ryan Ritter, new coach at Mercer down in Macon, Georgia, hour from the crib now. Ryan, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Man, great to see you. Great to be about only about an hour away, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I, I got to ask you, man, uh, uh, going from Daytona to Martin and the Macon, man, how how's the move been, man? You've done a great job with your different places, man, uh, build, 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 building programs, man, and now you're here at Mercer, man. Tell me about the opportunity at Mercer. He reached it out to you, brother. Yeah, the uh, I mean, the transition's obviously been, you know, it's it's like any transition. There's a lot going on. You're moving a family, moving, you know, wife, three daughters, trying to put together a roster. Um, but in terms of, you know, going from Daytona to Martin to now Macon, obviously three different kind of areas. And, um, you know, Mercer University, is it's it's a really cool spot, man. It's it's an hour south of Atlanta. Uh, we've got big time academics here. We've got an administration that, that is fired up to to win basketball games and, um, you know, it's really, it, it is really a cool spot. So, you know, feel like the, the last two months, um, just getting ingrained into not just Mercer, but, but to kind of find it out the, the Macon downtown area, finding out school systems, um, you know, all these different things. Um, I think this could be a really special place for our family and, and, and really a great time for Mercer basketball. And Ryan, man, downtown Macon is growing like crazy down there, man. It's really nice, man. I, I love going down there. Down there. For, for, for festival in the fall with the, the blossoms come, man. It's, it's real nice, man. And Geico's down there, man. So make it see city on the rise here in Georgia. So you're there as it rises. And you know, it's it's great for families and people to come down there and say, hey man, it's a great time to live here. Making laid back, chilling cool, what's growing at the same time. Man, you you said it. it's funny. I didn't know a lot about making. You know, I'd been through here uh probably 10 plus years ago when I was an assistant at Campbell and you know, kind of drive through it, but the downtown area, man, it's it's got restaurants, we got music, um, it's growing. You know, we've got 150,000 people in Macon. Um, you know, we we found a spot up in North Macon to live, which is which is unbelievable. Um, so yeah, the, the the city of Macon, I was actually really blown away by 
um, just all it has going on. And, and like you said, the Cherry Blossom Festival, uh, big time. You know, my daughters loved it because we were coming here on our visit and everything is pink downtown. So um, you got three girls that are one, three and five. So you just you walk downtown, everything's pink. You know, they think this is the best place in the world. So um, been been really, uh, you know, pleasantly surprised at, at, at how great of a city making is. And it's also good for your players, man, because there's a lot of opportunities for internships, networking, because making, like we say, is on the rise and one of these insurance companies in the world. Geico is right across town from you all. So talk about that piece for your players, man, giving an opportunity to, to grow off the court with internships opportunities, because we, 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 we both know that life after that after basketball is real. So you have connections, it's going to help them out going forward. Yeah, no doubt. And, and uh, you know, obviously a lot of these guys are are coming here, uh, you know, they're, they're thinking, hey, how can I be the best basketball player? How can we win games? But, you know, the truth is, it, is, is we got a great academic uh, program at Mercer University. So when these guys walk out of here with an undergraduate or a graduate degree, they're going to be ready for the real world. And I think some of those connections in town uh, can absolutely uh, fast forward their, their careers and uh, you know, we're, we're kind of already seeing it, you know, guys that have come in here on visits and and, and kind of uh, understanding that, that, hey, listen, I, I definitely want to play, but I'm seeing a lot of things around making that, hey, this could be a spot where I where I settle down and 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 start my, you know, career life after basketball. So, um, yeah, a lot going on. Um, it's definitely, definitely an up and coming city and, and you know, hopefully the basketball program is up and coming as well. And man, I, I, I don't know if it's the game in a, in a hall can as a coach, as a coach before, man, but the Hawk, man, it'd be jumping, man. Like I told you to coach Gary, but man, this is a place is jumping, man. <laughs> I can come down for a game. So I've been up to the games down at the Hawk, man. This the, the environment's great, man. And you do a good job of game operations, presenting the game for the fans. So man, you're gonna really enjoy that when you get on that court in November, man. See they get an energy in that building, man. It's gonna be fun for you, brother. I trust me on that. Hey, no doubt, man. Beautiful arena. <laughs> uh Mercer's got a great backing. You know, you've got real, real, real uh, friends of the program, real supporters that care, they're going to show out. Um, you know, they, they do great with their, um, you know, with, with attaining crowds in there. And, and it's, you know, it's not just men's basketball. We got a, a great football program, traditional, great ba- baseball. Um, you name it, women's basketball has been great. So, like, uh, the, the the community of Mercer uh, really backs us. And, yeah, I can't wait to tip that thing up November 4th and and uh, get this thing rocking. And, folks, we all have been to Mercer's campus. It's very beautiful. Like, you pull up on it. It's very beautiful. It's laid, it's laid out just nice. And it's, I mean, it's been a beautiful campus, man. So I just want people to go down there and check it out, man. It's a nice spot for a kid to go to school there, man. And my friend's the coach now. So help him out. <laughs> help us out. <laughs> yes, sir. And, and you know what, man? I'm going to go back to what I said to, a little bit of what I said to you, man. Uh, you try to knack, man, for build, building programs up, man. So, like, for you, man, uh, what goes into it, man? Because you've done it. From JUCO level, MEAC, OVC now. So what's been your next building the programs? Get, get, get them going in the right direction in, in, in a good, 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 good amount of time because you've done it, you know what I'm saying? You have a knack for just getting things going in the right direction. Well, I think, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate, first off. You know, I've, I've, I've worked for some great ADs, worked for some great administration. But, I mean, the first thing is is absolutely starts with the people. Um, you got to get the right guys around you. And, um, you know, we, we we've got a heck of a staff. Uh, a lot of guys I've known for a long time and, and you got to get the right staff in here because this thing is not about, not about me or, or, or one person. It's about collectively put it, building a program and putting the best product out there. And it really does start with the people around you. And, um, and then after that, you got to target the right student athletes. And um, it's been different everywhere I've been Daytona state, Bethune Cookman, university of Tennessee, Martin Mercer, you got to find that niche, what works that institution. And then how can you, uh, you know, hopefully how can you, how can you build the program, but also how do you win games? Uh, with the type of student athletes that that you're bringing in, and uh, never have been focused on on wins and losses in year one. Been focused on on getting the pieces right. Um, and you know, quite honestly, at UT Martin, our first year we, we struggled with wins and losses because we lost we lost a lot of close games, but we knew the foundation was there. Um, so you go from year you know year one where you struggle to to year two where you win 19 games, and year three where you win a championship. Um, we take back to Bethune Cookman, we won a championship in our first year, but the goal's never been to hey, we're, we're going to win X amount of games. What we are going to do is we're, we're going to try to compete our tail off. We're going to maximize. We're going to try to compete for a conference championship. But that first year, it's about getting the right people, um, understanding the school, understanding how to recruit, and then, uh, you know, coming together and and uh, trying to put your best product out there in March. And, Brian, you signed 10 guys to, to your roster, man. And uh, for you, man, being a JUCO guy, that's something you see anyway. So how often was it going to do the process of trying to find these 10 young men that fits and 
getting them on the court here in summer school to see what you have, kind of build and start up to that culture. Now this summer, get ready for November 4th, as we mentioned earlier. Yeah, that's such a good question. And, and you know, sometimes it, it looks a little daunting when you're signing, you know, eight, nine, ten guys. But the reality is I, I got to start with that. We retained three guys. And, and um, you know, Alex Holt was a starter last year, really good player. Jock Winones uh, played a lot of good minutes. And, and T.J. Grant, ultimate teammate, like those three guys can can help us uh, in year one. And I think when you look at the teams across the country, everyone talks about transfer portal rankings. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But you got to have the ability to retain. And although we weren't here last year, I thought it was really important to retain those three guys. Obviously missed on some guys, uh, but those three guys give us at least some some familiarity with Mercer, some guys that have played in the SoCon. Um, so I think that's going to be a, a, a much added benefit that people probably aren't talking about right now. But in terms of our transfer class, you know, I feel strong about it. If you look at some of these publications, uh, we've done really well on paper. Um, but, you know, the, the, the truth is you're not really going to know till November, December, January, but – I think we targeted guys that fit us. They're, they're tough. They're together. They're unselfish. Um, guys that can make shots, guys that are going to be great teammates, and and some guys with some experience. You know, we you look at it, we've taken three Division II transfers. Uh, we've taken, you know, a high major transfer. We've taken mid-major transfers. We've taken um, guys that have junior college experience. So we're not pigeonholed into, into saying we're going to do one thing. We're going to find out what works best. You know, you got a guy that was at Dayton. Uh, you got a guy that was at, uh, you know, Division II. Uh, Charleston University so like there, there's so many different factors to what goes into winning at Mercer and I I can't wait you know the next couple of weeks to get these guys here and find out what we really got and Ryan with, with this being uh so many 10 new guys with three guys coming back is this gonna be a more of a in, team oriented offseason trying to get them to gel together or you still focus on the development of players and, and try to worry about the team come off well, I think it's it's twofold, but that's such a good question. I, I, I'm always about player development in the summer. It's about these guys getting bigger, faster, stronger, getting better in their game, feeling confident. So when November comes around, uh, they're they're at their highest level of confidence. They know the work they've put in June, July, August, September. Um, so that's always will be my number one focus because come, you know, October, November, December, it really is always about us. But in the summer, uh, I want these dudes to to feel and 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 know they're getting better in the weight room, on the court. Uh, but we may sprinkle in a, a couple more team concepts, not necessarily offense and defense, but hey, this is how we compete. This is what look. This is what being a great teammate is like. Um, this is what our expectation is on the offense and defensive side. And you know, we'll figure out the the through the six weeks. You know how we're going to guard ball screens, how we're going to do, uh, you know, press offenses, defenses. I'm not as worried about that. Uh, I want to make sure our guys understand what our what our culture is. Want to make sure that our guys understand uh, what it looks like to be a Mercer Bear. And hey Ryan, we're having 10 new guys coming in, man. So it's gonna be fun this summer to kind of have those team building activities to, to build a rapport. And being in Macon, be close to Atlanta, we saw opportunities for you guys to come bond together and build that brotherhood now. So how how started you look at the store making in, in the middle of Georgia and Atlanta area with your team to kind of get build build those bonds? It's gonna become critical come come November, December and January and February and March. Can't wait. We were just talking about it as a staff yesterday. You know, we we have specific days where we've left open for uh you know team building just uh different things throughout throughout the, the the middle georgia area getting together and just honestly getting to know each other sometimes you know in the in the, the landscape of recruiting right now it's almost microwave recruiting where you know, you're you're building a relationship you know in, in a week or two and then guys are making decisions to join the program or not and so what we try to do is we try to uh carve out specific time where we do have these genuine relationships with these guys yes it may only be for a year or two whereas it used to be four or five years, but it doesn't mean that uh, we can't still develop those same type of relationships. We just got to uh, condense it. We got we to uh, be very adamant about the way we're doing it. And so uh, if you see us, you know, hang out in Atlanta one day, don't be surprised if you see us down doing some, some ropes courses or uh, just hanging out in my pool. Uh, I think it's very important to get to know these guys, you know, off the court uh, just as well as on the court. Well, hit me up. I'm only an hour away. Hit me up, bro. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only I'm only I don't want to hit me up, bro. Hey, we're a good time, man. Come hang out with us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, I, I kind of kind of give people a little bit about the staff, man. I know your brother Reed's there with you when you hire two other guys. So, what about your staff, man? How important it is to have a great staff, which has helped support you in this program as you build this thing up in year one. Yeah, man, it's 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 the most important thing. I think we've got a, a, a very quality staff. Like I said, guys I've known for a long time, um, guys with a ton of experience, guys that are from all different uh, facets, guys that have different experiences at different levels. But, yeah, you mentioned it. 
Um, obviously got my brother here and, and sometimes people, you know, oh, you got your brother, you just gave him a job. But I didn't give my brother a job. He, he's absolutely earned his keep. Um, you know, was a professional basketball player, worked at Georgia under Tom Crean, worked at Georgia Southern under Brian Berg. It was a uh, junior college assistant and then helped us win a championship and win 40 games the last two years at Tennessee Martin. So um, really, really good young coach, uh, but definitely a, a guy that is, is is on the rise fast. And then, you know, uh, you look at a guy, uh, Jonathan Mitchell, Jay Mitch, no doubt was the best player on our staff, you know, played at Florida, won a couple of championships and, and uh, national championships, that is, and then went to Rutgers and was an all big East player played professionally for eight years and actually small, small world met him when he was with Reed as a GA for, for Tom Crean at Georgia. So we kicked it off there and uh, was at Stetson four years. And then re most recently, this was really important. He was in the G league for a year. And I, I thought it was really important to have some, some NBA ties on our staff because a lot of our guys have aspirations and, you know, JR, the, the, the reality is they're not probably going to get drafted from Mercer, but mm -hmm. Can they get two ways? Can they get opportunities in the G League? And I thought it was really important to bring Jay Mitch here to say, hey, this is I was in those meetings. This is what those guys are looking for. Um, and then, you know, the, the two other guys on our staff, Ben Witherspoon, my college teammate, um, been close with him since I was 10, 11 years old, uh, was a very successful high school basketball coach. Dr. Phillips won a state championship, was a was a public school coach. It was a top 25 team in the country. Like, that's insane. Um, then moved over to UCF, was an assistant in the Big 12 for the last three years and uh, got him to come join us. And then the last guy, really cool, uh, was my roommate before I met my wife, played for my dad at Embry-Riddle. Uh, his name's Daniel Mondragon, and he was the Division II head coach at Davis and Elkins, uh, was, you know, the MEC coach of the year two years ago. And so we've got some major experience, got some some real ties, um, you know, real family atmosphere in here. And then we'll, we'll add a couple GAs and and a strength coach, and 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 we'll be ready to go. You no, know, bro. But now you know we have these long hours you're having right now trying to build this roster out. So, what are some cool spots that making you found to eat, man? With the staff, man. I know we in the office eighteen hours a day, man, trying to schedule games with the staff, man. Uh, find players. You got to go eat somewhere. So, what's some cool, cool spots for you guys, man? All right. So we've been. I, I give you a couple. So, a uh, big spot for us and the recruits to go. We go to the Rookery downtown. Uh, really like that spot. Uh, been to Oliver's. Um, now I'll tell you, it was a date night. Me and my wife have gone over to, uh, Natalia's, which was a uh, pretty high level. And then, you know, my go-to spot just, it's, it's right around, right around from the crib, uh, Taco Mac, man. I know it's, I know it's a chain, but I love some Taco Mac. I love man. Taco <laughs> Mac too, bro. <laughs> they got the environment, they got the TVs, like, uh, so I, I'm a little scared cause it's about a mile from my house. So I'm like, man, I don't know how much I can be going over there, but, uh, man, been, been a lot of different spots, a lot of good restaurants, uh, Really, really, really high level spots down here. And, and you know what, man? You're in a cool conference, man. SoCon's one of the best mid major conferences in America. Tough competition every night, man. So talk about that piece of it, man. You've been in a conference where you know it's quality. It's one of the highest conferences in America for its mid majors, man, with great coaches and great talent up and down the league, man. Yeah. I mean, you said it's one of the most intriguing things of the job. You know, the Southern Conference is, you know, it's, 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 you've got, so many different teams that have had uh, success, you know, from from obviously Sanford really good the last couple of years, your Furman's, your Wofford's, your ETSU, Chattanooga's like th these teams are are traditionally really, really good basketball programs. And I I think that the, the cool part is, uh, you know, everyone's three, four hours away. Obviously, VMI is a little bit of an outlier, a little bit uh, farther, but but you can really have some real regional rivalries. Um, everybody cares about basketball. You're going to have great environments. Um, I think that's fun for the guys. Like it's, you're not going to have a night off. You can have a, a really good basketball team and you can finish eight and 10. You can finish in seventh place and say, man, I was a possession or two away from, from, you know, competing in that, that championship game. So I think that's a, it's a, you know, maybe a little bit of a nervous or scary part, but it's also a blast because you know, every single night, uh, you know, you're, you're going to compete against someone that has a chance to win a game in the NCAA tournament. No doubt, man. That's the thing about these margins are so thin, and that's why it's so important when, when you're doing scouts and having walkthroughs, these guys pay attention because in the SOCON, it's really down to possessions. <laughs> that's, that's just what yep. it really is. It's possessions, the small things. So it's very important these young men lock in because the small things that you kind of overlook sometimes, when the, yeah. this margins is this close, it really matters the most. No doubt. No doubt. Right on, right on the money. No doubt. And my last one for you, bro, man, uh, Scheduling games, man. I know it's been probably you know, a lot of calls. You, you, people don't want to play you, man. So I said, get to schedule these games, man, knowing the kind of coach you are and, and the kind of sense you've had, man. Well, I think, you know, uh, fortunate or unfortunate, you know, it doesn't really matter. We had a couple games already previously scheduled. 
uh, before I got here. So we've, we've got, uh, you know, we're in a multi-team event where we're going to play South Carolina. Um, I, I think we're contracted to, to also play a, uh, you know, two of these three, Siena, uh, Miami of Ohio, Jacksonville. Um, and then we also owe, we also owe games back to uh, South Alabama, um, Georgia State, and uh, Queens University. So those ones were contracted before I got here and, um, you know, working on some, some other stuff right now. It's been a little slower on the scheduling has kind of been focused on, on the recruiting aspect, but um, you know, those are games that we're looking forward to, to returning or, or, or playing the multi-team event. Um, and then, you know, cool. We've got a, we've got an A-Sun SoCon challenge um, that, that we'll be playing West Georgia and we'll be playing in Stetson in that. So we've got a couple games to finish up, but um, you know, really excited about, about getting this group together and, and competing in the non-conference, but also seeing, you know, when that, when that conference schedule comes out, seeing how we fare up there. Yeah. I look forward to August, man. I kind of do, do my dates. When the hot schedule comes out, I can even tell you what days work best for me to come down and see you play, you know, hope I score Georgia, score the state game and West Georgia. That's, that's down the road for me too. So it's just happy I'm glad you're in the state, man. I'm happy you're here, man. Hey man, I'll tell you this. You need to make sure you, you definitely come on down because hey, we got a pretty good win loss record when you're in the building. So uh, you know we're gonna welcome you down to every game we can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Ryan, it's crazy. Other game you lost is we we played the tech. Oh, uh, that's you. Every time I went there, yeah, you win. <laughs> hey, hey, and, and honestly, we played well. We just uh, just couldn't get it done down the stretch. So we're gonna play well when you're in the building, man. We we we, we got to do that when we're in the when we're in the uh, in the eyes of greatness. <laughs> Thank you so much, my brother. Hey, man. So I just want to chat with you, my friend. I'm glad you get down here, man. If they need me to do for you, man, you know I'm going to do it for you, brother. All right, brother. Appreciate you, man. Anytime, man. All right. See you. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports. Music. Society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku, as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. 